Ancient Egyptian dynasties interred their nobles beneath the desert sand for tens of thousands of years, frequently surrounding them with valuables and trinkets to take to the afterlife. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we will be sharing fascinating discoveries in Egypt. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Every discovery in Egypt reveals fresh information about a particular period of ancient Egypt, which encourages visitors to the country's attractive archaeological sites. Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities continuously announces fresh archaeological findings based on the work done by Egyptian archaeological missions at various locations across the nation. This is under the state's support for carrying out archaeological digs and maintaining ancient Egyptian civilization. Let's begin! Sarcophagi and Statues Found at Saqqara At the Saqqara Necropolis, which is adjacent to Cairo, Egypt's capital, archaeologists discovered a treasure trove of artifacts in May 2022. 250 sarcophagi containing mummies and about 150 statues and figurines of ancient Egyptian deities, including Isis and Nephthys, dating to roughly 500 BC, were among the vast archaeological find. Some of the earliest pyramids from ancient Egypt can be found there, including the 4,700-year-old Pyramid of Djoser. Egypt has housed numerous civilizations over the ages, including the Greek, Roman, Arab, and Ottoman, among others, all of which have left their mark on the culture and history of the nation. The Pyramid of an Unknown Queen Found Near King Tut's Tomb A group of archaeologists discovered many coffins, mummies, and artifacts, a network of underground tunnels, and the pyramid of an unknown ancient Egyptian queen a century after King Tut's tomb was found. Her name was Neith, and according to Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, a former state minister for antiquities in Egypt, she has yet to be found in the historical record. More research will be required to learn about her reign and story. At Saqqara, roughly 20 miles south of Cairo, archaeologists have been excavating. The coffins and mummies that were recently found may be those of King Tutankhamun's closest generals and advisors. Egypt's oldest tomb is oriented to the winter solstice. A team from the Spain's University of Malaga and the University of Jaén reported the discovery of Egypt's oldest tomb, which is oriented toward the winter solstice sunrise, almost a month before this year's winter solstice on December 21st. A statue of a governor of the city of Elephantine, who lived at the end of the 12th dynasty of Egypt, roughly 1830 BCE, is now obscured by the sun's rays every year on the shortest day. This governor's tomb was listed as number 33, and may have been constructed by Governor Hekaib Ankh. The excavation took place between 2008 and 2018. A Geometric Miracle Tunnel A tunnel was discovered 43 feet below ground by Kathleen Martinez of the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic and her team as they continued their continuous study and excavation of a temple beneath the historic city of Taposiris Magna on the Egyptian shore. The roughly six-foot-tall tunnel had been carved out of sandstone that was 4,281 feet thick. The design was dubbed a geometric wonder by the team. Martinez thinks the tunnel would be a promising lead in her 18-year quest to find the renowned Cleopatra VII's hidden tomb. A few hints from earlier excavations in the vicinity indicate the illustrious queen and final member of the Ptolemaic dynasty who governed Egypt from 51 BCE until she died in 30 BCE. Al-Asasif Cache The discovery of 30 coffins in the Al-Asasif region, including a noble collection of 30 colored wooden coffins for men, women, and children, in good preservation condition, was revealed by the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities in May 2019. 
The mummies were found inside closed coffins stacked one on top of the other on two levels, exactly like the ancient Egyptians had left them. There were 18 coffins on the first level and 12 on the second. Numerous worldwide media sites have reported on the finding since it was made, describing it as one of the largest archaeological finds in history and the biggest in Egypt in a century. Khoi's Cemetery In April 2019, Khoi's grave was discovered at the historic Saqqara Cemetery. Khoi was the fifth dynasty official in charge of the royal palace. Due to its significance, the American Archaeology magazine listed it as one of the top 10 archaeological finds of 2019. It included a photo of the cemetery's vibrant walls on the cover of the January-February 2020 issue. The tomb was found thanks to the excavation effort and the scientific documentation of the hierarchical group of King Jedkare Isesi of the 5th dynasty south of Saqqara by the Egyptian mission led by Dr. Muhammad Mujahid. Granite Stone Blocks In addition to other rare items, a German-Egyptian archaeological mission excavating in Mataria found granite stone blocks dating to King Khufu's reign in the Temple of the Sun. The find was made during excavations by the Egyptian-German archaeological mission at the King Senusret I obelisk in the Mataria region, east of Cairo, on the western side of the Open Museum. Antiquities from King Khufu's reign are being uncovered for the first time in this area, according to the discovery. During the Ramesside era, when using stones from historically earlier constructions was popular, those stone blocks may have been components of an unidentified building, or they may have been transported from the vicinity of the Giza pyramids to be used as building materials. 40 Mummies in Tuna al-Gabal Forty mummies were discovered in good condition in the Tuna al-Gabal area in February 2019 while being excavated by the Egyptian mission in collaboration with the Minia University mission. Additionally, ceramic and stone coffins were discovered from the early Ptolemaic era to the Roman Byzantine era. The Sacred Animals Cache the Egyptian archaeological mission, led by Mostafa Waziri, Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, discovered the Saqqara archaeological area in November 2019, according to Khaled El Anani, Egypt's Minister of Tourism and Antiquities. The discovery was made while the mission was working in the Cemetery of Animals. The discoveries include a sizable collection of 75 statues of cats in various sizes and shapes made of wood and bronze. 25 wooden boxes with covers decorated with hieroglyphs that contained cat mummies, wooden statues of various animals such as the mongoose, the calf apis, small crocodiles with the remains of mummified crocodiles, and the deity Anubis kept inside, a large scarab made of stone, and other small scarabs. Discovery of 83 Ancient Tombs in Dakalia Governorate during the archaeological excavation operation in the Umm al khalegan area of the Dakalia Governorate in February 2020, the Egyptian archaeological mission of the Supreme Council of Antiquities discovered 83 tombs. 80 of them, known as the Bhutto Civilization or Lower Egypt, date to the early half of the 4th millennium BC, according to Mostafa Waziri, Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities. They appeared as oval holes carved out of the sandy island layer, including squat tombs and furniture from the afterlife. Except for one instance, which was recovered by the Polish mission in Tal El Farka, Waziri stated that this is the first time pottery sarcophagi from the Nakata III era have been discovered in the Dakalia Governorate. That's all for this video. Which of the discoveries did you find most amusing? Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time!